Oh, and that's so beautiful, so good. Look how much hand you've got on the gun now. You just like so weird. Yeah, and weird is okay. Some people will be like, that feels uncomfortable. I'm like, if you want comfort, get a cardigan sweater. Evan, did you make that uh, sportsman's guide order? Evan. Pew, pew. What are you doing? Pew, pew. Yeah, I'm not playing that. Yeah. Pew, gotcha. Ah, yeah, I'm not playing. Where's the order? Put it down. Put it down. I just want to talk. Did you make the sportsman's guide order? Yeah. All right, thanks. Back to work. Gotta report the snark line of defense. Outside of about five yards, maybe seven yards. Anything kind of here and out, I'm doing a something very specific with my trigger. I encourage you to go back in, in any of my videos and try to find uh, one instance where my trigger clicks. You won't find it because as soon as the shot breaks, while the gun is recoiling, my trigger finger is gonna get off the trigger really fast and then it's gonna come back to the prep. That's the wall and stop. We do this instead of pinning the trigger and letting it out slowly so it clicks. We do this because we want to immediately prepare for the next follow-up shot, right? If I pin the trigger to the rear, the sights lift, it recovers and I'm ready to shoot again, but my trigger's pinned to the rear. Now I have to let it all the way out and I'm waiting for the gun to tell me it's ready to go again by either the tactile feel of the click or the audible click. And both of which means delay as I'm psychologically asking the gun a question and waiting for a response. It's all slow, slow, slow. So your sights lift, recover, and then you let out, and then you're like, I really should have shot by now. And then you go, Hulk smash! Because you're trying to make up for lost time. So typically the traditional way of pin to the rear and wait is really trashy, awful for fast and accurate shooting. It's good for accurate shooting, but not fast, right? So what we wanna do instead is when the gun shoots, the sights lift and the gun is recoiling, we wanna be able to get off that trigger really fast. And when I say get off, my finger doesn't leave the trigger, it just doesn't pin it to the rear. It lets the trigger out past where the click is just a little bit, finger never leaving the trigger, and then it comes back in really fast, almost faster than you can really see unless you're really looking for it. And then it'll come back to that wall, the pre-travel point, and I'll stop so I can assess my sights, check stuff, and then I'll ease through as well. So if I was to kind of give the rhythm and words, it would go, I'm on target, prep, and then I'll go easy until the shot breaks, and then I'll go off on, stop. E off on, e off on, e off on, easy. You understand? And it allows you uh, to never have to be waiting on your trigger finger. Because you're, now it's at the wall, and as soon as my sights are on, and I say, okay, send the next one. It's just a little tenth of an inch is all I have to go. So it makes shooting fast and accurate easy. And that's what we're looking for. We want technique to carry us so we don't have to practice as much or be so good. So I want to demonstrate real quickly on uh, target nine here. I'm going to do the wrong way to trigger reset. We're at about seven, eight yards right here, seven yards. I'm going to demonstrate the wrong way first, which means I'm going to pin the trigger to the rear. Then I'm going to let it out and you're going to hear it click and then I'm gonna pull the trigger. And I'm gonna to try to simulate, after I shoot a few rounds, try to simulate what people do wrong so you'll hear the click, boom. Let it out, let it out, let it out, click, boom. And it's really hard because there's so much movement of the trigger, it's hard to hold a group. And then I'll do it the right way and you'll see how much easier it is. All right, going hot, eyes and ears. 
Don't look at the target. You'll see the target when I'm done. I want you to be hyper vigilant watching the trigger finger. Cool. All right. This is the wrong way first, pinning the trigger to the rear. Hear the clicks. When you hear the click, think wrong, wrong, <laughs> wrong. Now what I want to do is properly reset my trigger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go painfully slow so you can watch my trigger to see that I actually pulled it off and did it right. What you should see is as soon as the shot breaks, my finger just uh, jumps to life. It goes off the trigger and it doesn't leave the trigger. It just goes past the reset point, stays on the trigger, and it snaps back to the wall and stops. And I'm going to show you I've got the control to shoot as slow as I want. Then I'll uh, speed up a little bit more and speed up a little bit more and then speed up e even more as you see. So I'll start slow and then slowly pick it up. And what you'll find is once the gun recovers, the sights are on target. You're a tenth of an inch away from the shot and you're just bored. And so you pull the trigger. And so what will happen is you'll be shooting fast and accurate one day. And somebody will be like, man, you're really shooting fast. And you'll be like, oh, th thanks. I wasn't really trying to. And then they'll be like, you arrogant prick. <laughs> and you're like, no, no, no. I wasn't saying I'm good. I'm just saying it's the technique, which really allows you, you're not wasting any time. And so what's left is fast and accurate without trying. And that's the spirit of technique. If you find yourself trying really hard, you're probably not resting on technique. Cool. So let me do this real slow and then I'll pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Sound fun. All right. Watch my trigger finger and listen for the click. All right, here we go. Same uh, exact same target. All right, cease fire and going down range. All right, and, and you notice I immediately picked up the rate of fire. I meant to go painfully slow and then pick it up a little bit more. And I kind of, I kind of got a little bit quicker than I meant to right away, but this is a little bit smaller than a heart. I started creeping up in here just a little bit, just as the gun was recoiling, I was shooting. But you look, I'll cover up all of the shots with two fingers right there at seven yards, shooting, shooting, decently fast and you could tell I was probably leaving a little something on the table too, right? It was a lot of work and practice and I'm going to prove that you can do it too. Does anybody need to see this again? Because I'm going to let you see somebody else do it. Scott. Sometimes when I'm practicing that I find myself doing like a double tap and it scares me. Yeah, when you send a shot down uh, and it broke a little faster than you thought it would, it's just part of learning to prep a trigger and reset a trigger. That doesn't happen for me, but when I was learning it, it happened. Now, funny enough is when the second shot comes, typically it's like a really good shot. It's like a beautiful shot. And so technically because the sights were aligned and the decision to shoot had been made, it just broke as a surprise. You're still good and it's not a violation of a rule. It's not a negligent discharge technically, but it's just part of the learning process where you really learn that nice, good trigger control. No matter how out of breath I am, no matter how jazzed up stress, no matter how much my AI is screaming in my ear trying to make me uh, screw something up in front of a target, that's just not, a, I struggle with other stuff. Uh, that's not one of them. So it's just part of the learning curve. Make sense? Yep. All right, so let's go ahead and draw present. We're gonna hold in the exact same black circle right there. Very good. Let me adjust you and a little bit more forward. Very good. Now what we're going to do here is I'm going to have him prep his trigger. So find the wall and then I'm going to say the word easy. When you hear the word easy, you're just going to keep that trigger moving, 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 moving until the shot breaks. No hurry, no rush. And as soon as the shot breaks, I'm going to scream at you. I'm going to freak out on you. I'm going to say off and on, off and on. And what I'm trying to do is I want to scar your subconscious. I, I want to <laughs> scar your subconscious so I can make a flinch response. And this is the fastest way I know to teach this works very, very well. Uh, so that you're immediately go from pin to the rear to off the trigger and back to the prep as fast as you can. My finger will be with yours, so I'm going to help you do it. So you can't do it wrong. All right. Prep, exhale and go E, off and on, E, off and on. Yeah, you slow back on. You see it? Let's mm -hmm. get forward. And E, off and on. Good. E, off and on. E, off and on. E, on. 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 Good. Cease fire. Now, now what we're doing is we're quick off the trigger, which is great, but we're slow getting back on it. So now instead of yelling off, I'm going to yell on, which means just prep the trigger real quickly. E, off. 
I think that was you that time. <laughs> <laughs> it, my finger is on his. It could have been me. I'm definitely going to blame it on him, though. So, though you may be right, nope, it was all you. And E off! E off! Now, as soon as I say the word easy, start working the trigger back, 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 back. No delay. Right. And E off! Reload, reload. Present prep. Exhale. And here we go. And E off! E off! E off! E. 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 I don't think I reset it. <laughs> and E. I don't think I reset it. Oh, yes, it is. On. Off and 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 on. Reload. And you're out. Charge. Holster. <laughs> Holster. Which target were you shooting at? Left or right? Left. Where was your slow aim fire target? Which target were you at? I was on nine. You were on nine. This was actually your target. You did great, man. You did great. Pretty darn cool. Typically, people feel like they're not going to be able to get it quick. Uh, because we're recording, we went in a little bit deeper than I said we were because then I got carried away making a uh, video, right? We got to get off the trigger faster. There's a delay where you pin it, you enjoy the ride, and then you let out. I want to immediately flinch off. I'm just going to yell off to help you with that. Prep. E off! Good. E off! 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 Beautiful. That's so much better. I can't stand it. I'm going to get myself a platform. I'm going to give myself an award for that coaching. That was great. He's wearing body armor because he's a cop and he's training like he fights. So don't troll him. Present. Prep. And E off! E off! Good. E off! E off! Reload. Present. Prep. And E off and on! E on. E off and 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 on. Wonderful. All that was wonderful. How'd that feel? Yeah, you crushed it. Good job, man. Uh, what I want you to, guys to do is break up and coach this with each other, but my insurance is not going to cover you hanging out over the line touching guns or anything like that. So I want to show you again how to do this, but how you coach with each other. Cool. So let me have one more volunteer who has never had a class with me before. Fantastic. Come on down. All right. And this is how you're going to coach it. You're going to stand behind them. You really need to scream at them as best you can to make that flinch response. It make it's a tender mercy to them where it helps the learning curve a lot. So go ahead and draw present. Let's go uh, uh, right target on number nine. Let's go ahead and get a little bit farther forward. Fantastic. And this is what you're going to do. We're going to give the same commands, but we're going to scream in their ear and I'm not going to be hanging out over the firing line and my hands are nowhere near the gun. You're behind in their ear. And E off and on. 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 That's all you're going to do.